This is the GTX 1060 from Galox. It is one of the best mid-range GPUs you can buy right now and let's find out why. Hey what's up guys I'm Suman from Phonesteen and let us begin. This card from Galox is the 3GB overclocked variant. The Galox edition has a base clock of 1518 MHz and a boost clock of 1733 MHz. Now that's not a really high overclock but it is still acceptable. It has 1152 CUDA cores with a 192-bit memory interface. It supports all the NVIDIA features like G-Sync, GPU Boost 3.0 and is also VR ready. It has 3 ports, a HDMI 2.0, DisplayPort 1.4 and Dual Link DVI. The card is set to support 8K at 60Hz. Uh, but sadly Dell isn't ready to provide us with one for testing. <laughs> but all jokes aside, the card has a maximum power draw of 120 watts. But technically it'll be around 50 to 60 watts which is kind of acceptable. And to power this boy up all you need is a 6 pin connector. Now underneath the hood it is a powerful card. But remember it is a budget GPU and Galax reduced the cost by skipping on few areas. The entire card is made out of plastic but it is on kind of the weaker side. Certain areas tend to bend when uh, pressure is applied. Another area where I feel Galax could have improved the overall looks is in the color department. The card looks too plain and boring even though the design is good. And sadly in 2017 there is no RGB. In fact there is not even a single light strip for that fact. But since this card will be facing down most of the time, I think it doesn't matter. But the main issue I faced was that I couldn't screw the card into the bracket after installing it in the PCIe slot. I initially thought it was a problem with the bracket but uh, then my GTX 1070 screwed in perfectly. Galax, we do not want our graphic cards to fall out so please do fix this. But anyways, this card performs like a champ and now you will see why. And all the gaming tests are done at 1080p with the settings maxed out in all the games. So it is completely maxed out. So let the games begin. So as you have seen right now, the Galax GTX 1060 performed on par with the GTX 1070 which is nearly twice the price of it. In most of the games it averaged above the 60fps mark which is quite impressive considering all those settings were maxed out. And now about content creation, 1080p video edits on Premiere are smooth but it takes around 20-30% uh, to 30 more time to render than my GTX 1070, again which is definitely expected. Now, when taking a look at the thermals, it is quite on the warmer side. The 80mm fans perform decently by providing sufficient cooling. On load, it reaches a peak temperature of 77 degrees Celsius which is kind of hot. But I could blame it on the temperature of my place cause it is around 40 degrees here in Chennai. But on average, you could expect uh, somewhere around 55 to the 65 degree mark and during idle it would hover around the 45 degree to 50 degree mark and the least I've seen is 39 at the max. Now talking about acoustics, it was silent during idle and I didn't find it discomforting during heavy load as I was barely able to hear it during my gaming sessions. Now you can use the extreme tuner software to control your fan speeds, overclock the card but I won't recommend doing that and change the colors of the LEDs, hashtag if there is any. So there you have it an amazing card for what you pay. 
Yes, there are certain things that needs to be fixed by the Galax team, but I think the GTX 1060 from Galax is definitely worth the 16,000 rupees you're gonna invest. And fun fact, this is the cheapest 1060 available in India right now and the performance can justify its cost. And a huge shout out to Galax for providing me with this unit. And anyways, thank you for watching and this is Suman signing off once again. Catch you later.